Iran? Yeah, Tyler, you think you're talking about the youth chili cook-offs? Oh, oh, that was I, a joke. He doesn't do youth chili cook-offs. That's like so. Cool, but it could be kind of weird. It's, it's youth, youth group. Well. No, it's like youth group. It's like um, I play drums for like like church band or whatever, but it's like for kids. So, you know, is that where you draw a lot of your sound? I wouldn't say gospel. No. I wouldn't say like I wouldn't say like Christian gospel music. I'd say more, I guess. Um, blues and, yeah. and uh, like soul music I guess yes. soul music came from gospel it's just so similar to gospel music like yeah I don't, I don't know we listen to a lot of like Al Green and, and like Bill Withers you know that kind of sexual healing <laughs> can you give us some of that right now yeah no <laughs> awesome. sexual um, I've noticed that uh, not a lot of well as far as I'm concerned there's not a lot of young bands right now doing what you do do you think that that sets you apart or is it I reckon it's a good thing. Yeah, definitely. Definitely a good thing. I don't think we would have had, like, the... I mean, we haven't had success, but in the last sort of month and a half with Triple J and whatnot and people people yeah. t- paying attention to us, we've kind of... Um, I don't think that would have happened if we had just the generic indie... I mean, there's just too much to contend with there. We, we and there's so many yeah. established bands already doing that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we, we kind of just, you know, Sam rang me up one day. He's, he's like, do you want to be part of our band? And... Um, he actually has a, a brother that I teach drums and um, he didn't want to do it because um, it wasn't his type of music but I sort of filled in and um, yeah we're, we're like we've been friends for ages and um, yeah it's just I don't think we we didn't really set out to be like too much really we just you know had fun playing music and I don't think we ex- expected this in the first like no, nine months of our definitely not of what we were so doing. it's only really been nine months yeah that yeah that's yeah. amazing yeah, it's, it's seriously, it's August, so much fun. August Today's last been, year or something. So, how many shows have you done up until now? Is it still fairly I think we think we've done a lot, but then when we, if you actually count them up, we've probably yeah. only done like we, 15. Oh, we've done more than that, but we, really? we get... Yeah, I reckon. Yeah, easily. No. But we get like little segments, like we, we'll be busy for like a month and then we'll just, you know, Sam went overseas for a bit and then yeah. um, we had a break. We've been then, really, we've been really good in the last, since we've had a bit more motivation and since everything started to kick it, like people started knew, knowing our song Lay It Down and stuff on, on the radio, yeah. we've had a bit more motivation to um, to, to really like go for it. Yeah, yeah. we kind of been like, oh, well, maybe we're okay. So, so get congratulations a... on winning Triple J on our slot to play yeah, thank you. That's thank you. It's How good. has that experience been for you guys? That's great. Um, yeah, it's been good. That was, I mean, we just played and it was like, we kind of thought, great, we've won on Earth. Uh, the home bake competition and we're playing home bake and then we thought we're playing at 11 30 i mean it's a there great won't be festival, anyone there there's not gonna be anyone there <laughs> and and we were like let's just be happy and just like like concede to this and we'll just be happy that we were playing at least yeah and then we walked down stage and there was people and then within our two songs there was just heaps and heaps of people and it was full yeah, and it's fun it was like we were just sort of buzzing like it was i'm, I'm yeah. still buzzing it's un- yeah, it uh, unbelievable absolutely unbelievable what is that Triple J attention done for you guys career-wise in, in that space of public? Have you had labels for you, you know, like... A, a we've had a lot of... Yeah. We've had always had great shows because we've got a... Our manager's been really good and he's got us lots of good shows around Sydney and, and we're going to go to Melbourne soon. And, yeah. But um, it more we've got a lot of attention from the industry, um, which is great. And we've already got our New York thing. I don't know if you know about that, but we're going to New York to produce our, to do our album, our debut, yeah. debut album, which we had before any exposure happen really but now we've got a lot more interest from other other different companies in Australia which is great yeah and more just we, we, we get flooded with emails from people about the song and stuff which is weird which we're really surprised about we you know we're, 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 we're cheering so, so yeah. what, tell me more about New York Who are you we're working with a guy called David Khan he's um recorded the strokes and um, Paul McCartney our, well our, our engineer called Dean Tuza we were going to originally do our debut album with him here in Australia. You know, we were going to rent a house and just do it for a month. But um, he was over working um, in the south of France with this big producer on the new Kooks album. And um, then, yeah, he played it, sort of dropped it in. He was just mixing. So, hey, he listen to this. Said, hey, by the way, this is a friend, like friends of ours who are going to be working on the Rubens from Australia. From down under. And uh, he played it. And then yeah. he was just like, okay. And then he kept emailing him saying, um, send me those tracks. I want to hear more of those Rubens guys. And and then it all transpired from there, and now we're going over in January to do it. Yeah, that's exciting. That's
very good. It's so exciting. It's so crazy.